you have the Australian Dietary Guidelines promoting <laughs> starvation, promoting calorie restriction, a third of a cup, that's freaking two spoonfuls. Yeah. Isn't it? My, two spoons of oats? <laughs> my my uh, minimum... Two tablespoons of oats. My for a grown minimum adult. for an oatmeal is uh, two cups. All right, welcome to the video. How much sugar should you eat every day? This is a very common question that I receive a lot. When I talk about sugar, I'm talking about fruit, fruit juice, white rice, black rice, brown rice, corn, bread, pasta, potatoes, cane sugar, beet sugar, corn syrup, the works, all carbs. Fructose syrup, for sure. Carbohydrates are key. Because when we eat starch, our bodies break it down into simple sugar, aka glucose. And glucose is our body's main and preferred fuel source. Mm. So people <laughs> will say, I don't eat sugar, but they eat fruit, and they eat bread, and they eat potatoes. <laughs> All of those are sugar. So how much should you eat? My general guideline and recommendation, and yours as well, is 10 grams of carbs per kilogram of body weight daily. Oh, now, now, now that is, down from there. Yeah, now that is a very general guideline, but it's a good way to start to understand how much you need to eat. Yeah. Because people are like, oh, like I had a bowl of rice, and then I was like hungry, <laughs> and then I ate a packet of fatty chips and a Sara Lee chocolate cake. I had no control. <laughs> because you didn't eat enough. So Carbs beforehand. So, so for me daily, on an average day, 550 to 600 grams. How about you? Yes, I'd go from six up to 1.5 kilos. Yeah. Just as much as you want. As much as you want. And yeah. you might go 10 grams of carbs per kilo. That's, that's not enough. I'm going to be hungry after that. Then go 20 grams per kilo. And you might go 10 grams of carbs per kilo. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I, I, I can only do seven a day. And yeah. And I'm totally satisfied. And that's, no cravings yeah. at all. Okay, then seven's for you. Because you can experiment with it and see what works with your lifestyle. Um, yeah. I, I have a private coaching group. If you would like to get coached by me and receive the best dietary information, go to my website, getfitwithnatasha.com. You can join there. Uh, questions are answered in there daily. So I'll just use an example. There was a, a girl recently telling me that she needs guidance with how many carbs she should be eating because she's always craving a fatty dinner. And she told me that she's on her feet for eight hours a day at work. She plays tennis. She's a sporty girl. And uh, based on her weight, she needs around 700 to 800 grams of carbs daily. And, and she told me that she's only having 500. And that is why she's craving the fatty dinner. Yeah, her libido might tank at five. Oh, yeah, for sure. So she needs to up those and that's carbs. That's going to affect her relationship. Yeah. Might, if she's got one. So uh, so I told her this, and she's like, great. I'm going to experiment with 700 for the next week. Mm. Uh, as much as you want. As much as you want. Same for guys as well. A lot of guys complain about low libido. Or like, this is this is holistic. Yeah, people, we just talk about weight loss. That's great. But like, what's the good of losing yeah. weight? I'm, I'm not just talking you know? about weight loss. I'm talking about sustainability, I'm talking about mental health, Everything. I'm talking about relationships, Making money, social life, workplace, your, your life. Because, okay, you can lose weight by not eating for a few days, <laughs> and, then, and then you're going to be fucked. Your husband's you going on a divorce ship. You can't be so Or your wife's like, I, I, want the, I want the paper boy to come over here, because you can't do nothing. Yeah, which is, why, just... which is why weight loss is such a broad, subjective Thing. Oh. And uh, so, so based on these guidelines, 10 grams carbs per kilogram of body weight, oh, but like, I want to lose weight. Well, yes, you have to eat a lot of carbohydrates. Do we look fat? And keep your fat low if you want to lose the weight. Because if you keep under eating, you just, you, your metabolism it's is going to stay in its slow state. And then you're going to have the post-starvation obesity post-starvation hyperphagia where you have no Thyroid control issues. around the fatty food. So you, you have to eat enough carbohydrate because fat burns in the flame of carbohydrate. Krebs cycle. It takes three kilograms of oxygen to burn one kilogram of fat. Oh, she knows it. This is so simple stuff. 
People go see a nutritionist, nutritionalist. It's, it's, it's so important. And get told somewhere, eat, eat a cup of oats a day. Like, oh. I, I have a friend. Actually, <laughs> can, can you get those oats? Yeah. Cup of oats a day. Half a cup of oats so at breakfast. we have these oats. and uh, Half an egg. And I, I didn't include oats in my first list, but oats are a fantastic energy source. And uh, these are organic quick oats. We've got a, a serving size on the back here is... A third of a cup. A third of a cup. A third of a cup third is a cup. 30 grams. 113 calories. Oh my god. 100 calories. So breakfast. we have the Australian Dietary Guidelines promoting <laughs> starvation, promoting calorie restriction. A third of a cup. That's freaking two spoonfuls. Yeah. Isn't it? My, two spoons of oats. <laughs> my my uh, minimum. Two tablespoons of oats. My minimum for an oatmeal is uh, two cups, and then I put almond milk or soy milk, and then I top it with sugar to taste. Yeah. So a third of a cup. This is starvation, and uh, if you eat according to serving sizes, you are going to struggle, and you are going to suffer. You are going to be depressed, anxious, and you are going to have a very low quality of life. This is BS. A third of a cup, and then what? Have you... Lean proteins, lean healthy protein. fats, just uh, 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day. One of my meals is more than 1,000 calories. Crazy. Come on. I'm going to cut you out for bikini competition. And you got to rebound, baby. And you got to be a, a hangry bitch to be around in the meantime. Right. And well, your boyfriend's going to be like, oh, I've had enough of this. If, if you want to do the bikini competition, you do that. But understand, there's consequences when you do actions such as starving yourself, dehydrating yourself, using drugs. No man, no man wants his woman to have abs. I, I, I represent 99.99% of the men on the planet. No man out there wants his girlfriend to have shredded abs yeah. at the expense of breast tissue or butt tissue. And it... No, no man. So I, women, just if you're doing that stuff, yeah. no man finds it attractive. Be slim and fit like Natasha, fantastic. To starve yourself down and get dry ripped abs like a man. And the thing no is, man finds that attractive. And it's not just about attractive. It's the fact that you are not designed for that look. And that is dangerous oh, for your health. There's a whole stack of so negatives I, too. I'm I just actually, giving it an aesthetic. Oh yeah, I hear you because people yeah. are very focused on aesthetics. People do crazy shit in the name of aesthetics what are you, what are you doing and weight though? loss. So yeah. we, we are teaching you the health. But we also talk about the aesthetics because people are very interested in that. So uh, I had a girl write to me recently and uh, she told me thank you so much for making your videos and exposing the truth of the fitness community. I used to be in the bodybuilding scene and uh, my coach would make me take T3 which is a thyroid medication <laughs> used to uh, increase, increase metabolism and burn more fat and an ECA stack. And an ECA stack is a combination of ephedrine, caffeine, and aspirin pills <laughs> oh, to man. cut your appetite, cut the body fat. And make you go <laughs> at the gym. Oh, shit. And you got to read that ECA so hard. stack. That's what Freel used to take. <laughs> Freel used to take ECAs. And she's open about it. This is before we met Freel together. This is like back in 2005 or six. Freel was on the ECA stack. Yeah, wow. And, it, you know, that's what she was doing. And then she got with me and she, she gained all this weight. And she was... And then she lost what, 20 what, what kilos. What was her highest weight? About 73 kilos, which I'm probably about now. You know, and so she got to that weight eating dates and tomatoes. Tomatoes, man. And lettuce. That's how, if she didn't find me, Freely would probably be about 150 kilos by now. For she sure. wouldn't be Freely a banana girl. She'd be Freely the... Freely the <laughs> shipping container girl. <laughs> <laughs> she's, <laughs> you know? she's very lucky to have found the lifestyle yeah. and found you and your guidance. And she was a great guinea pig to practice on. Yeah. And, uh, and she... Got fantastic results in the long term, but at the start people are like, "Oh my god!" Like, blah, 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 blah. yeah. But yeah, if you do ECA stacks, you're gonna, you're gonna, your thyroid's gonna <laughs> get bam. You're gonna rebound hard. <sighs> and that's why you see a lot of these Instagram girls like two years ago, and now a lot of them are obese. You know, For sure. or they just disappear, or they just recycle old photos from a year ago, two years ago, and in real life they do not look like that at all. For sure. Which is, you know, it doesn't matter if you're obese or slim. We were just saying, if you want to be slim, there's the right way to do it. And yeah. This is the way. So if your goal is weight loss, health, maintaining good relationships. Life quality. Life quality. Then do what we say yeah. and do what we do. Start with 10 grams carbs per kilogram of body weight. Per day. Per day. And go up or down from there. Fruits, starches, and, and sugars. 
and you will find the higher your output, the more activity you do, the more stress you have in your life. Responsibilities. Responsibilities. You're going to want to eat more. You are going to to want to eat more. Your body is saying, we need more. And that is not stress eating, as they <laughs> like to tell you. They like to tell you it's emotional eating. So you pay them, so you can talk to them about your problems, and then they can prescribe you medications. <laughs> and serotonin just... medications, selective serotonin receptor uptake medications, the, SSRIs. The pro. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that help your brain have more serotonin in it. The serotonin you should be getting Naturally, from eating a diet Rich in suited sufficient, to humans. Sufficient in carbohydrates so, yeah. every day. People it's tell crazy. you it's stress, it's emotion eating. No. You need more carbs and you have more stress. You have higher intake. You have higher calorie needs when you've got more responsibility and yeah. more stress. And you can feel us. We're trying to talk over each other. We're so like, come on, gang. <laughs> we're so this passionate. is carbs talking. We're so passionate about There's no about caffeine it. in our systems right we're, now. Zip, no Adderall, nothing We in are on no ECA stack. Nothing. We're just trying to like I've reach into the camera and say, I've had a half a bag of these you know. apricot logs. I've had a morning meal of oranges. I've had mandarins. We've had rice Yesterday, crackers Yesterday, we had and rice salsa. and noodles and Oh, and, and also I had, uh, I had my beautiful... Leftover laksa with rice noodles. Vegan coconut laksa. Yeah, so we are just coconut talking food. straight from the heart, straight from the carb. Fuel. The real to talk, the stuff that people need to hear. People out there having bulimia or doing pills or just ECA yeah. stacks and it's, it's crazy. It's man. no way to live. All that shit is low life quality. You are going to impact every aspect of your life. Those around you. You're being hangry. So you heard us. Carb up. 10 grams per kilogram. Body long weight. haul, baby. Long haul. Long stop haul. the fads. Stop the yo-yo diet. Stop putting your fingers down your throat. Stop listening Oof. to those trainers out there who are do not do bullshitting that. you about their steroid addictions, etc. Photoshopping stuff. Who? Cinching their waist in or just all this nonsense out there. And just to deceive you to sell them a bogus and product. Who do, and who just lie about their drug usage. Yeah. Do drugs if you want, but don't scam noobs saying that For you're sure. nanny when you're not. And you're doing liposuction. Oh my god. And you're doing surgery, which is fine. But <sighs> there's no transparency. Be transparent. <laughs> be transparent. There's no transparency. And people feel frustrated and they're like, I'm not getting the results. Because yeah. they're bullshit. Natasha's oh, are we wrapping it up? Yeah. You, you I just am. do a wrap up each. Let's do a wrap up each. You do a wrap up and I'll do a wrap up. Your I conclusions. I have done my wrap up. You've done your wrap up? You I wrap? have. Do, I'll do my wrap up. Alright, yeah, do yours quickly. So people will say, oh but Natasha's twenty two. Um, she's never had kids. No, 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 no. She's just naturally thin. There's plenty of girls that Tash went to school with, uh, studied with, university, work, at bar, just girls she knew from tennis or whatever, ballet, mm -hmm. who aren't as slim as Natasha is today, okay? And they're the same age. They don't have kids. So it's not just genetics. It's not just age. It's most 22-year-old well, yeah. Aussies out there are on the heavy side, not the slim and Natasha I'll side. I'll just add, I, I do have obese family members. There you go. And there Me are, too. Me there, too. There are many 30, 40, 50 year olds on this lifestyle with kids and they are slim. crushing the carbs. They are fit. They are yeah. slim and yeah. they are Long very, term. very healthy. Long term as well. Not just like for anyone get lean for summer, but to sustain it, that's a different story. Totally. Everyone can starve themselves. Losing weight's not hard. It, it's a totally Staying different lean, picture. That's a different Staying story. <laughs> so yeah, just, just you got to listen to Natasha. Like if I was a 22 year old girl, I wouldn't see anyone. I just listen to Natasha, you know? Because if you want her results, and just you've got to follow in her footsteps. Simple as that. You, know? it's just, you heard it. Otherwise, you just got to fuck yourself over, man. Simple as that. So you're, you're only young once, girls. You're only young once. Don't jab your lips. Don't think your fingers down your throat. Don't worship <sighs> the fuck boys who just want to take a plan B pool the next day. Worship your health and your body and your career and what you're driven and what you love. That's right. All right? And just don't waste your youth. On very, stupid very shit. wise information. Right? Getting smashed and drugs all the time. You do occasionally, once a couple times a year, but otherwise, man, just move on. That scene's just empty, shallow, narcissistic, fake, sociopathic. And it'll, you'll just you'll get to 30 or 40 you go, what did I do with my youth? I've yeah. wasted it with fuckwits, with fake people. Do it.